Dwayne Johnson, and I don't know if people know this, the Dwayne Johnson we're talking about is the Dwayne Johnson you think we're talking about, The Rock. He said Warren Sapp was, is the reason that I'm in acting. Stop that. What type of player was he? On a scale of one to ten, he was a six. And I was a, and I was an eight in college. See what I'm saying? Right. So he's two steps down. I mean, he just he was an adequate player, but he wasn't gonna make that play for you. You know what right. I'm saying? You know, he wasn't gonna dominate a game, wasn't gonna take it over, but he hold he'd, he'd be good enough for you to, you know, not lose the game for you. Right. I put it in that term. So that was it like to be on a field, you know. You know, I played, I went to a small college and I'm the dominant guy. And so I know every day I'm the best player out there. But you go out there and then you see all these other five-star recruits and you see all these other guys that's going to be future first-round picks. Some of them going to be Hall of Famers. What What is practice like? Oh, my God. Because, you know, back then, practice, practice was we thudding up. We put well, people on the ground. Ain't no oh, no. Oh, no, no. We hit. We hit. They got to they gotta call us off. You crazy? No taking them to the ground. We got a good thud, but don't take them to the ground. You crazy? Dog, in college, it was a dog-eat-dog -dog world on Green Tree practice field. we go out there, man, and just obliterate each other. I mean, just, oh, Rohan, Molly, Ray, they love to the hit. And then C.J. Richardson was in the back, my safety. No, you would get lit up. Because you know what, Sam, and I tell people, it wasn't a thought about, well, I don't need to, like, hurt him because we got a game to play. Nah, bro, it, it is what it is. <laughs> hey, we playing this game, dog. You want, you better protect yourself. That's why it was called bang eight. As soon as you hit the bang, get big because you're going to get hit regardless if you catch it or not. <laughs> when 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 you're in college and you're playing with Dwayne Johnson, did you know he would come turn out to be what he became? Did he have that kind of personality? Did he have that kind of charisma? Listen, he did, but he kept it hidden. He's the type of guy that you'd let your sister date. I mean, real good guy, real charismatic. But the thing about him was, we always used to say it to him, like, dude, if this football thing don't work out, you're going to go wrestling. He'd be like, you damn right. And I mean, Rocky Johnson was his daddy, and the Flying Snooker Brothers was his uncles. So it was in his blood. He just took all those sayings. That was Ed Ogeron. That candy ass and shoving it yeah. sideways. Oh, my God. That's what Ed Ogeron used to talk to us if we had a bad practice or a bad game. That's how he used to talk to us, just like that. So when I first saw it, because Brooks is the wrestling fan. Right. Brooks, Brooks like, you got to see this out. I'm like, what, what, what? Man, you know, took over the TV, got Tony Dungy to make me late to the room. I was going <laughs> to watch something else on the TV tonight, man. No, no, you got to watch this. So, you know, you got to wait the whole hour till you get to the main event. Right. <laughs> so, I didn't even do it a whole 40 minutes of wrestling at 29 years old. I want to kill Brooks at this point, right? Come on, man. I could have been you, watching. You're talking Jeff about Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks, number 55 in your program, number 942 in your heart when it's wrestling time because he's going to watch it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the smoke, the lights, everything sets off. And, oh, my God, my mouth hit the floor, dog. My mouth hit the floor. I was watching my teammate, and he was no longer the guy that was behind me. He was up front and center. The stage was his, and he was giving it to him. I, I fell in love with it. I said, you know what, dog? We can watch The Rock on Thursday nights in here now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just won't watch the other 40 minutes of it. I'll just watch the 10 minutes of him. And then yeah, when, he, when he coming on, on at the end. Oh, when he coming on, it's, it's about to be over. So I, I can deal with that. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.